<clears throat> okay, Shalom, Shalom. Um, this is the brother Amaf uh, from the DC camp, and along on my side, I have the brother Nakumya and the brother Shemashiwan. Um, we want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to apostles and elders, a great millstone, who rule well. Um, shalom to the brothers out there. Um, you know, pushing the fight, you know, pushing the pushing the word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, the hopeful elect, the sincere Akim. Um, so this video is going to be based upon charity and alms and just, you know, being brotherly. Um, kind of, I'm a, I'm a, I'll read uh, Ecclesiasticus. Uh, okay, you can read. Okay. Go on. This is Sirach chapter 12, verse 1. Okay. When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it. So shall thou be thanked for thy benefits. Right. So you got to know who you do good to. Well, if all right, brother, uh, keep reading. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, yet from the Most High. Right. So if you know who you're doing good to, man, um, it's, hey, if there's a brother in the camp, you always want to act like that's a man of the Lord to where, <clears throat> you know, that hey, take, it, take it as that he might be you know, uh, King David or something like that to that effect. Or he may he may be Job or Jeremiah. You know, you always want to treat a man that's in the camp to that effect. Uh, okay, uh, read that read that, that one verse again. The second, the second verse. Go. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense, and if not from him, yet from the Most High. Right. So if, if not from him, you're going to receive it from the Most High because the Most High is a man that he shall not lie, you know. He's gonna he's gonna pay you regardless. It may not be in the same form of that man that that you gave whatever you gave to that man, but he's gonna definitely help you out as far as uh you know you're gonna be in need of something. Like there was one time I was having car trouble and uh, this guy he just hopped out of his car and then he just started helping me push my car and it was <clears throat> and he just when I was uh, when I told him I was good uh, he just got back in his car and dipped out. You know it was just it was it was all super fast. Okay. Okay. Can you grab uh, Hebrews 13? 1 and 2. Hebrews 13. Chapter 1. I thought, uh, chapter 13. Verse 1 and 2. Uh, Hebrews 13. 1 says, Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Mm. Going into what the brother was saying, like, uh, you got to treat brothers as if, you know, that brother is a man of the Lord, you know. He says that we have entertained strangers unaware. You don't know who, who that spirit is that you're um, dealing with. And it says, let brotherly love continue before that verse. Shikha. I got a quick precept. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is uh, first, uh, first Thessalonians chapter 2 and uh, verse 6. Okay, it says, Nor of men sought we glory, neither of you, nor yet of others, when we might have been burdensome as the apostles of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. But we were gentle among you, even as a nurse, as a nurse cherisheth her children. You know, and then that we're, we're supposed to be in that like manner, you know, being, um, being apostles and basically being ministers unto Yahweh Shai. Um, we're not supposed to put burdens on, um, you know, brothers in camp, you know, but we're supposed to be showing brotherly love, you know, going out of our way to uh, to do tasks, you know, and just trying to please the brother as if that was Yahweh Shai, you know, Calm. just sh uh, showing love, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, but we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherishes her children, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, in the uh, curses, it talks about how we used to be um, tender and delicate towards our brethren, you know. And now the Lord is uplifting the curses from off of us. We're supposed to, and we're receiving our heritage back. We're supposed to be um, tender and delicate towards one another, you know. That's the culture of Israelites, to be tender and delicate. What niggas do is they're rough and, and, and mean and evil towards each other. Yeah. We're supposed to be opposite of that. Yeah. <laughs> Super opposite. A nigga will have <laughs> a nigga will be like uh he call he call he call he call, he call these uh they call each other niggas, you know? That's oh. fucked up, man. Yeah. 
That's hatred. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking hatred, man. Uh, oh, okay. Reach verse 3. It says, There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. Right. Amen. So if you always occupied in evil, hey, <laughs> hey, there's going to be death. There's going to be death coming your way, man, because a hey, wide is the way, you know, that lead up to destruction. Right. And then also it says, uh, it says, nor to him that giveth no alms, man. There, uh, let me read that. There can no good come to him. Yep, there was no good to them that could, that, that give no alms, man. Because alms make a atonement for sins, you know. God. And you want to grab that real yeah, fast? God, God. First Peter's four, eight. First Peter's four and eight. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Con. And uh, there's another one in Tobit to where, uh, let me get it real fast. Uh, where it talks about not, oh snap, let me search. Uh, I think I know what it's at though. Because <clears throat> when you give alms, man, it keeps you away from death. Uh, that's not, that's Psalms. Alms is a good gift unto all that give in the sight of the Most High. Fully up, so long, yeah. Hey, if one of y'all could look up uh, Alms, and it should be in Tobit, like uh, the fourth chapter, to where it talks about. Uh, it, oh, look, I found it. This is verse ten. This is uh, Tobit four and ten, because that Alms do deliver from death, and suffereth not to come into darkness. So, hey, man, you know, alms give an atonement for sins, man. It's going to help you not go into uh, to darkness. Hey, man, because look, it says in verse 11, For alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the Most High. So it's not of it's not of the sight of just uh, you getting glory by giving something to another brother to help him out. But it's more so helping the, you know, helping the Lord out because that because we're all of one body, you know. So just just lifting this brother's countenance by giving him some some. Uh, you know, because when you uptight, you know, it, it, it's, it's a lot of tension, you know. That's why you see Jake all fucking mad all the time and shit. Not only not only through the curses, but their funds, you know. The stress, just, just, it just causes so much stress, you know. A, a, one of the biggest things is that child support crap, you know. Where it just has men all messed up in the mind, you know. Can I up? Come on. Can you get Matthew 6? He says, uh, but when thou, Matthew 6 and 3, but when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret himself, shall reward thee openly. Con. Oh, that's beautiful. Con. You know, like like the brother said, you're not supposed to uh, do good onto, onto brothers to receive uh, glory or validation from other, other brothers, mm. but you're supposed to do it so that the heavenly father, he sees it. All right, and then he rewards you openly, you know, because that you received your reward. You know, if you if you're giving a brother, you're doing well to a brother, so another brother can see you. That's your reward, you mm. know, and you don't want that to be your reward. You know. God, well, I just thought of something because a lot of men, they'll they'll seek man pleasing, you know, or like they'll look to, they'll look to be, um, right in like one of the elders. Or, or the apostles' eyes, so they'll they'll give alms just mainly to them, or like uh, they'll just give them gifts mainly to them instead of like giving like someone that's maybe that's under them, you know, uh, or someone that's on their same level to give them things, you know. Hey Amen. This thing, this thing is not about just giving it. <clears throat> you know, if they, if you have a thought to help a brother out, just just do it, man. You know, a lot of men would like to fucking uh, would just give to the uh, to the upper ranks, knowing they, you know, like, oh, I think that's a man of the Lord, so I'm gonna just give to him, you know, mainly. That's that's not right. I think we stopped that. Oh yeah, yeah, verse four. This is Sirach twelve and four. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. Mm -hmm. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him. Lest he overmaster thee thereby, 
for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. And that goes to the first verse, help know to whom thou doest good to. You know, because it, it clearly, if you if you're gonna keep helping out a sinner, and he's gonna he's gonna understand your weakness when he says overmaster you, and then now he's just gonna now he's gonna use you as a pill, pillar of rest to where he knows he can rely on you to give to uh for you to give them alms, man. And that's not the case, man. You gotta sometimes, man. Like a, there's one time, um, hey, it's the little things, man. It's the little things that lead up to the big things. You know, just you always want to kind of work on saying no to people saying no because too many yeses you know you could just become of a pu pushover you know god so false balance was an abomination yeah and it said do well unto him that is lowly so that uh. goes into how you're saying like a brother that you might see that is the least and you looking over him that might be a great man in the spirit you know because the lord doesn't look at you as other men looks at you but he looks in the the hearts mm -hmm. of men huh. you know so you don't know who these brothers are you know, keep going. Reverse. Yep, yep, yep. It says, "For the Most High hateth sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment." Come. Oh, so I can read that again. It's Rock twelve and six. It says, "For the Most High hateth sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly." Right. Hey, he's going to repay vengeance unto the ungodly. And if you, like we was reading earlier, you're going to receive twice as much evil for all the good that thou shalt, that, that thou shalt have done unto him. So you're going to, hey man, so technically like the brother said is you being the unbalanced weight, you know, helping out some goddamn wicked ass motherfucker, you're going to, you're going to receive that punishment, man, because these people are reserved for the, their, their day of punishment, whether it be dying of pestilence, dying of famine, the martial law, you know, the troops, or maybe the, even the missiles, man. You know, the, the Most High has a, a, a already laid out script, so you just gotta <laughs> you gotta read the script so you can you can be in tune with the with the uh, the the music that's playing, man. Because if you, you you know one one off beat could uh, you know <laughs> could take you could be kicked out. It says, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. All kind, yeah. Give unto the good and help not the sinner. Right. A friend cannot be known in prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. Right, yeah. So, like, you have a shot. He was on the cross. Man, he's seen all his enemies. He's seen the people, uh, you know, maybe they was holding back some some things, that, some words they had to say. But since when he was on that cross, they, and, you know, I'm pretty sure he got it. He got he, it. It all, it all it came out, you know. In the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved, but in his adversity, even a friend will depart. God, yeah, man, that's self-explanatory. But go on, go on. Uh, I was going to uh, say, like, go ahead, bro. like if you all, uh, you know, hit the jackpot, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jake that made it, all right. All of a sudden, uh, other Jake that were picking on him, making fun of them, are right there kissing his butt. You know oh, what I'm saying? Hell yeah. That's why it says in in the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved. You know, nobody's gonna they want to all kiss your butt and be on your good side. But it says, but in his adversity, even a friend will depart. So someone you think is your main man, when you're going down and out, he's he's nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. He's mm -hmm. a ghost. Kind of. You know. Well, look at MC Hammer, uh, Mike Tyson. Yeah. You know where were all their friends when they when they when they was fucked up? Allen Iverson. Oh kind. He says, uh, never trust thine enemy, for like, as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Yep, yep. I mean, for the most part, if y'all had anything else. Um, oh, a matter of fact, uh, can y'all bring, one of y'all grab the, the blue letter? Because I can't, uh, I can't leave the app. Uh, just, just uh, grab the uh, arms in the Hebrew. You know, cause this. Hey, let me see if I could try it again. I didn't see. I have tight though. Oh, you said what? T uh, tie, ties. You. That's the only thing you see. Yeah, arms that come up in the. Okay, con. Well, uh, Psalms, sing unto him. Sing Psalms un unto him. Talk. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's Psalms. So like, yeah. No arms. Right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Get that. This is. Uh... Okay, Strong's. The word for uh, like your tithe is Strong's H forty six, forty three, and that's 
Ma'ashar. Okay. And uh, the definition, it says a uh, payment, uh, payment of a tenth part. Um, yeah, tithe. Yeah, basically that was it on the um, oh, well, definition. We, yeah, well, that was just that's just something we just we just trying to do more is bring out the Hebrew, so we you know you know it's all it's all about it's hey it's all spiritual man you know you don't you, you want to all if you have a certain lot or a certain gift to where you could use that gift to promote more good things for the truth man you want to do it man um what is it um, James bring on. Corinthians, where it says, "If I have not charity, um, I, I am nothing." Bring that up. Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah, this is um, this is First Corinthians chapter thirteen, and uh, verse one. It says, "Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity." I am become as sounding brass or a Read tinkling cymbal. See if it's in the Old Testament. Okay. Read, it, read it again, bro. It says, uh, verse 1, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Okay, and, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Damn. Hey, uh, so like, hey, let me just read the first verse again. Okay. Uh, first Corinthians 13 and 1. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a twinkling, uh, uh, how you say that? Uh, symbol. Symbol. Wow. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, and then he said, um, right, so, well, I'll just, a twin e, for the most part, charity, it, it goes, it goes a long way, man, as far as helping someone else out, you're not thinking about yourself, that's another, that's another, uh, because I was thinking about doing a video on about fasting, and what fasting does for you just helps you not think about yourself, it's, it's more so pleasing the Lord, so that's what charity is, is, uh, you know that's a big th that's a big thing a part of uh, the spirituality of charity. You know, not thinking about yourself, not being selfish. And hey, that's why when you first get paid, you really supp um, supposed to pay your ten percent uh, towards the, the apostles and elders, and uh, and then you take care of yourself. And then you know if you got more, you give it to someone that may not be of need, man. Hey, you can see the nation of Israel was all about you know helping out other people because uh, in, in the law it talks about like if you grew grapes or like if you grew corn or something like that you wouldn't always take all the corn off the tree i mean you wouldn't take all the corn out the field because you will leave some for the poor you know but esau out here he's just he's running rampant he's he's a he's a madman you know just not even letting the rent the land rest but trying to but creating synthetic uh minerals and chemicals to actually put back into the soil so that you can keep growing like uh good strong crops but hey, hey hey man with those synthetic drugs man there's always something some imp Im improper balances as far as the the molecule hey you know i can't i can't really speak on that I don't, i'm not a scientist but you, we, we just know we just we could feel it through the spirit you know oh um, you get on um, proverbs chapter 18 and 16 Chapter 18. Oh, so like it. It says, A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. And the reason why I brought that out is because I wanted to get the Hebrew word for gift. Oh, okay. And the Hebrew word for gift is a ma, a tha, and a na. And it's pronounced it's pronounced mathan. And it mean it means gifts offerings presents all right and uh you know that's that's likened unto you know giving you know alms you know God. a gift to a brother you know what i'm saying an offering a present to brothers you know what i'm saying it says it bringeth him before great men you know hey yeah hey yeah uh because now you said that <clears throat> 
Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that because that's that's a different topic. Um, Cause uh, basically, a man's, you know, a rich man is known for his his riches, and the poor man is known for his skill. You know, you got a certain skill, you got a certain talent, you're supposed to use it. Cool. Anything else? Lasting words? Uh, Actually, I gotta close on this one, last one. Okay. All right, this is um Psalm 137, and uh, verse five. Hold on. 137. Good. Okay, um, so it, it reads, If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. Um, if I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. You know, and, and that's basically, you know, the mindset that we're supposed to have, you know, if, that we don't forget uh, our brothers, you know. That's the kingdom of heaven. So we, we got to uh, continue to um, to keep brothers in remembrance and, and just show brotherly love and charity, yeah. you know. And, and the Lord's not going to um, forget us, you know. Right. Oh, um, wow. That's the spirit you said that. So, okay, this, this, I will right, we'll close on this then. <laughs> uh, four. Because uh, Jerusalem is, is the brethren first, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. before the actual city. That's right. Yep. Come, come, come. Um, yeah, and it said it said with all joy, you know. So we're supposed to, um, you know, we're supposed to have joy when we're, when we're with the brethren, you know, breaking breaking bread, uh, going over scriptures. That's not supposed to be a burden or or um, something that's grievous unto us. It, it said chief joy. Yeah, chief so, joy. So yeah. it's supposed to be your first pleasure, right. your first priority over all, right. all this worldly stuff. Now, um, for the uh, this is Tobit four and eleven. For all alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the Most High. Nope, uh, nope. Because basically, it talks about um, if you if you give to uh, if you give to you know if you give alms, uh, the Most High won't forget you. Well, I can't find it right now. I don't want to take too long on it. But you know, we what's up, bro? We read that at Shrock twelve. Oh, Salaki, so damn. That's the spirit. Let's read that again. Verse 2. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, there's another one that actually says it like that. Uh, okay, this is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 12 and 2. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense, if not from him, yet from the Most High. And yeah, the Most High is not going to forget you, man, you know? And he's always a hey, uh, trying to think. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was in Tobit. I was reading it earlier, but hey, Lord's will, we, you know, I'll do uh, you know, maybe a part two to this if I find it. Okay. It said recompense, yep, you know, yep. recompense is to pay to back. Payback. So the Lord's going to pay you back if you do good unto a godly man. Yeah. You yep. know? Hey, the scripture's talking about, um, you know, you're going to be repaid uh, for your deeds. You know, you're going to have a recompense for your deeds, man. And then the scriptures talk about whether good or bad, you know. Okay, so with that, we'll give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakadash. Shalom to the apostles and elders. Well, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the uh, the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.